DC police say this gunman struck three times in one week here in the district. Our Delia Gonsalves is live outside of a men's shelter in Northeast where many are being encouraged to spend their night indoors. And Delia, I can imagine many are fearful with these attacks happening. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of folks talking amongst themselves, handing out that flyer, making sure everyone knows exactly who this person is and the person that police believe is responsible behind these attacks. Advocates and police alike want those who spend their nights on the streets to seek shelter so they are safe tonight and in the days to come because they believe the suspect is targeting this general area. I can tell you that the three DC attacks all occurred within two miles of the two men's shelters here in Northeast, including this one behind me, Adams Place. You can see men who are lined up to go inside for the night. Now, these attacks were told so incredibly brutal and completely unprovoked. In fact, the man who unfortunately died just a short ways from here, we're told he was sleeping in his tent when the suspect approached him, stabbed him, shot him, and then set him on fire. Makes me feel scared. Makes me scared. Fear of this man. Police say he's responsible for viciously attacking five people sleeping on the streets in D.C. and New York. Two men lost their lives. Well, he's a dangerous person in the society and they need to be caught and shut down. Harry Jefferson has been experiencing homelessness five years now, and while he may spend his days on D.C. streets, you won't catch him out at night. I don't like sleeping in the streets. I like it better than the shelter. In fact, that's where we met the 52-year-old near the New York Avenue shelter. Well, watch out where you sleep, okay? Where police right. were passing out pictures of the suspect and warning others. He's out here, okay? He's out here trying to hurt the homeless. A lot of them don't have the access to TV, so we try to get them out, pass up a few flies, they can pass the word around, they can all watch each other back while they out here. It's a crime against our humanity, crime against our family. Father John Ensler is the CEO of Catholic Charities, which operates the two men's shelters in Northeast. He says from now on, all shelter doors will remain locked and security officers are on alert. The father says these attacks on the unhoused is part of a bigger problem. It says basically we've got some work to do. It's not just the work of charity. All of us should involve in making sure we take care of those in need. This violence is a natural byproduct of a country and a society that continues to dehumanize, degrade, and defame people living without housing. Jesse Rabinowitz of Miriam's Kitchen says advocates will hold police and elected officials accountable to not only solve these attacks, but solve the growing epidemic of homelessness in our city. So people like Harry Jefferson don't spend another five years without a home. DC has a budget of over $17 billion. We can afford to end homelessness. We know how to do it. We have social service providers that want to do it, and we have the money. What we're lacking is the political will and the leadership to make it happen. In fact, here's a bit more on that bigger picture of homelessness here in D.C. Rabinowitz says the mayor is presenting her budget this Wednesday. Miriam's Kitchen asking for $26 million to end homelessness for 500 families, 260 individuals who are experiencing homeless. We can also tell you that the mayor who was in New York earlier today did say that DC police and, M and NYPD were able to connect these two cases in both jurisdictions through matching ballistics. In the meantime, here in the district, police are offering a reward of $55,000 for any information leading to an arrest in this very disturbing case. Back to you.